When starting a new business venture, inevitably there are a number of questions that come up. It's part of the process to have questions that you want answered. It means that you are dedicated to the business. With this in mind, I've picked 37 of the most frequently asked questions that people have raised about starting a home-based recruitment agency, and of course the answers to these questions. If you're in the process of deciding on whether to get started or not, then quite possibly one or more of these questions is on your mind. If this is the case, then hopefully the answers provided here will give you confidence to go ahead and get started today. We'll first deal with financial questions. Then we'll look at questions surrounding your training, concluding with questions on the practicality of starting a home-based recruitment agency. Okay, let's consider the first question. Can you go over what the investment fee is to get started? Well, the first option, A, offers a 50% discount off our standard fee for those in a position to make a full investment today for one of the modules outlined here. Plus, you'll receive an upgrade to the next module at no extra cost, along with the 10 added bonuses worth £3,070. As previously mentioned, the opportunity to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis is just for today, as I'm only able to provide hands-on training to a limited number of clients at any one time. And soon, I'll just be offering this business opportunity online, so it's now or never. Our second option B is for those who are not in a position to make the full investment today but would like to reserve the option to join the one-to-one -one training program at a later date. You will be required to make a deposit of 1594 to reserve the opportunity to join the hands-on training program plus you will receive a 25% discount off our standard fee and take away with you the first three volumes of the Recruitment Startup Online program, Grant Information Pack, business plan and recruitment training manual valued at £2,497 for just £1,594. Why do you need payment on the day? We just have two places available for the one-to-one -one hands-on training program and then our full program will shift to a 12-module online program. You see, I've helped hundreds of people to start their own recruitment agency. Some are generating a seven-figure income Many others making 10 to 15,000 pounds per month and are very keen to take their business to the next level. Therefore, from next week, I'll be working closely in visiting our existing clients to help grow their business. How quickly can I get my business up and running? The business model is designed to have you fully up and running within 48 hours of receiving your business program, although you'll be able to start setting up your business immediately. And just a reminder, everyone who invests today will also receive 10 amazing free bonuses. Firstly, one additional person to be included on your recruitment startup hands-on training. Two, information on how to quickly and easily apply for billions of pounds of business startup grants. Three, draft business plan for the recruitment industry designed to help you raise immediate funds. Four, certificates in recruitment competence providing status and recognition as a skilled recruiter. Five immediate vacancies for you to work on to demonstrate how you can earn a substantial income. Six free job postings through a leading national job board to include a feature packed service. Seven download accountancy software package, easy to use, full trading program included. Eight details of a mobile phone agreement providing competitive deals for new business startups. 9. A free special edition report on 101 essential business startup tips. And 10. Finally, my free ebook, How to Find a Job in Recruitment Within 30 Days or Less. Where can I obtain finance? For finance in your startup, you can look to the bank you already do business with. If that's not a viable option, then there are a couple of other common avenues. One is angel investors who often invest in new companies in exchange for equity in the business. The other option is to borrow from friends or family who are willing to support your new business adventure, i.e. the bank of mum and dad. Is it a good idea to finance out of your own pocket? To a certain extent, yes. If you're just planning to operate your agency from home, then there's no need to take out a huge business loan, as this business can literally run on a shoestring budget. How much money do I need to cover my running cost? The age-old question of how much money is needed to start a business is much like asking how long is a piece of string. 
we recommend that you don't give up your full-time employment until you have generated equivalent to three to six months of your existing annual salary. We have a recruitment startup business model that allows you to operate your business working two to three evenings per week so that you can generate enough funds to work in your business on a full-time basis. Can I really earn over £10,000 per month? In a word, yes. The financial models are built and drawn from years of experience of the recruitment industry. Your effort is vital ingredient and will reward you richly for all your hard work. If you were to make two placements per month, then you would easily earn in excess of £10,000. Are there grants available to start my recruitment agency? The truth of the matter is there are literally hundreds of grant schemes with billions of pounds of funds available, but there are three key things that are required. First, you'll need to know where to locate these grant schemes. Second, you need to have a solid, well-thought-out recruitment business plan and profit and loss forecast. Last but not least, you need to be able to show in your grant application that you stand a good chance of making your business a success. Now, what has helped our customers to secure funding for their business is that the business plan we have provided them with states that they'll be working with a company, RSU Services, that has over 30 years experience in the recruitment industry and has helped hundreds of new startups to gain success with their agency. This gives the organization that is providing the funds a reassurance that you'll not be doing this on your own, but that you'll be working closely with a company that has a good track record of helping new startups giving the funding provider a level of assurance that you will not be wasting the government's coffers. Now, anyone who is signing up today will receive a report on how to successfully apply for a business startup grant, plus 50 ways to find funding for your agency. We'll also be providing you with a comprehensive recruitment business plan and profit and loss forecast that incorporates having our support and backing for your recruitment agency. I want to pay to get started, but unfortunately, I forgot my credit card. Hmm, that old chestnut. Really, who goes anywhere these days without a credit or debit card? On the day of the workshop, we provide anyone who signs up £2,495 worth of products to take away for a deposit of £997. The payment is to find those who are serious about getting started. It's certainly not cost-effective for us to send out our products days after the workshop that for one reason or another gets lost in the post, or for us to make follow-up calls that afternoon to see if a person's in a position to pay and get started. Besides the financial rewards, what other benefits are there for starting my own recruitment agency? Well, firstly, you get paid what you're worth. Face it, when you work for someone else, their goal is to get as much work from you as possible for as little compensation as they can get away with. They started the business to make money for themselves, not you, right? When you work for yourself, the money you make from your business goes directly into your pocket. No more spending two or more hours commuting to work. You get that extra hour or two to spend however you want. Instead of wasting 10 hours a week on the train, commuting or driving to work, if you choose to work from home or local business centre, you'll get a full extra workday a week to put into building your business or having the occasional lazy day. The choice is yours because you won't answer to anyone. Fewer expenses. The minute you stop leaving the house to work to put money into someone else's pocket, you'll be able to put a whole lot more into your own. The money saved in commuting costs, clothing costs, eating out costs, all the little expenses that you never even think about really do add up. On top of that, there are tax benefits to working at home that aren't available to you if you work for someone else. Flexibility. The real beauty of creating a profitable business is that it gives you the flexibility to work when you want, how you want and where you want. You're only accountable to yourself and the harder you work the more profit you can expect to see. By the same token you don't have to ask anyone's permission to take a few hours out of your day to coach your son's football team or to go to watch your daughter in her first school play. I would really like to have my own recruitment agency but I have no funds. Is there any way RSU services can help me to get started? Unfortunately, the best we can do is to assist you through our support in helping you to secure a grant to start your recruitment agency. 
Although you will be required to make an investment of £997, the products that we provide you with is valued at £2,495 and gives you information on how to successfully apply for startup grant funding. We also have a wealth of free training videos on our YouTube channel under How to Start a Recruitment Agency that help train you as a recruiter whilst you are trying to raise the funds to start your agency. Would I be better off investing in a recruitment franchise? Recruitment franchisors will charge new franchisees a hefty upfront investment fee to get started with their brand. Unfortunately, the cost doesn't end there. Franchisors will take a regular slice of your takings as royalty fees. The bad news is that this fee is deducted from your actual turnover, not from your profits. Finally, other people's decisions could sink your franchise. For example, 80% of McDonald's restaurants are franchises. They are set to close 600 of their outlets with franchisees powerless to do anything from having their business forced to close. Isn't starting a business very risky in this day and age? A lot of people have been taught that running a business is risky and that the safe thing to do was to go out and get a job and have a career. This is outdated mode of thinking. Many people have discovered over the past few years to their dismay that there is nothing safe about having a job. These days very few people have any kind of job security as a company can cut you loose at any time. And once a person has lost their source of income, they haven't the finances to start anything. And if you end up on benefits, it's a struggle to pick yourself up from there. Should I quit my job to start my recruitment agency? When you decide to start your own business, it is tempting to quit your job so that you can give your new business all your attention. But at first you will undoubtedly need the income of your existing job to make ends meet. So it is recommended that you keep your current employment until you have generated at least three months worth of your annual salary. I'm interested in starting a recruitment agency, but I'm concerned about the high failure rate for new startups. Generally speaking, the main reason why the majority of new startups fail, now I'm not talking about our recruitment business or agencies, but just business in general, is due to cash flow. People are more times than not over ambitious with their forecasts on how much money they will be bringing in to start their business and fail to accurately calculate the expenditure for their business. Now with your agency business model, the incredible thing is that as you are working from home, the overall running costs are literally next to nothing. The business operates online and we show you how to easily find jobs to fill by simply visiting a company's website and securing vacancies advertised there. We'll also show you a little known secret on how to source tens of thousands of applicants and that is in addition to utilizing social network sites to source candidates. You learn how to advertise vacancies for free to put forward candidates to these positions. Coming back to the question, seeing as your business is running on a shoestring budget with virtually next to nothing on expenditure, the only way your business can fail is if you stop working and why would you want to do that? What is your overall success rate? Well it all depends on your definition of success. For some working from home on a part-time basis earning more money than they were on in their previous full-time employment is their definition of success. For many other success comes in the form of earning a six-figure annual income. What people generally want to know is if they follow what I show them in this recruitment startup training program, will they earn a regular income of £10,000 plus per month? Well, how much you make from this business is directly related to how much time and effort you put in. To quote Mark Twain, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. However, I can state with absolute certainty that I have made this as easy as possible and as quick as possible for you to follow simple steps to earning a serious monthly income no matter what your definition of success is. I've had a bad experience in the past and I'm not sure if I can go through it again. Well for those who subscribe to my newsletter you would have heard me tell this story before. 
In India, where baby elephants are trained, control is established while the elephant is very small. A chain is placed around the baby elephant's leg and attached to a three-foot iron stake, which is driven into the ground. Therefore, for several days, the baby elephant pulls and tugs and strains against the stake and the chain, but it's too small to dislodge it. Soon he is convinced by this experience that the three-foot stake and chain have the power to bind him. He no longer attempts to pull free. Ten years later, when the elephant is fully grown, weighing thousands of pounds, capable of uprooting trees, pushing or pulling a loaded railway car, he can still be held by a three-foot stake. How does the stake and chain hold the elephant? Control and conditioning. Past experiences that have gone into the subconscious mind will be accepted by the subconscious mind as truths. Well, those past experiences at times do control us. Quite often we'll respond to past experiences in the same way as the elephant. Whether we are consciously aware of it or not, what we tell ourselves goes into the subconscious mind and become part of our belief system. We respond to those beliefs whether they are right or wrong. At the risk of getting too philosophical here, whatever the stake is that's holding you back, now is the time to pull it up and get moving forward to gaining real financial freedom. Don't let your past dictate your future. The important thing is to learn from the things that didn't work out for you. Now it's true to say, generally speaking, approximately 80% of new startups fail within the first two years. And again, I'm not talking about our recruitment startups, but just business in general. In my experience, there are two main reasons why new startups fail. The number one reason is cash flow. People are overambitious as to how much money they'll be bringing in and unrealistic as to their outgoings. Now, as your recruitment business will run on a shoestring budget, this will not be the issue with your recruitment startup. The second reason why a new startup will fail tends to be not having a mentor or someone that they can contact to help resolve any problems or difficulty. Again, with our recruitment startup business model, you can contact me or my team at any time. Hopefully knowing this will go some way to allay any concerns you may have in starting your recruitment startup agency today. What are some of the pitfalls to watch out for? Rather than pitfalls, I like to call them stepping stones. They are as follows. First, don't procrastinate, thinking manana manana. If not now, when? You need to simply take the first step and invest. Taking one step towards turning your dream or starting your recruitment agency into reality will set you up well for the next step and the next one. Before you know it, you'll be your own boss and enjoying all the benefits of working from home. Second is to be disciplined. This is probably the hardest part for most of us. Working from home requires you to be focused. This is your business. No one is writing you a paycheck. You are creating your own source of income. So learn to set goals. One of my favorite quotes is, control your own destiny or someone else will. Think about that. You are working from home because you wanted to control your own destiny. So do what it takes. Thirdly, diligently follow up on our recruitment startup step-by-step -step plan of action in our business program on how you can quickly and easily make your first of many placements. You're not in business until you start making money. If you're not making money, then it's a hobby rather than a business. The first placement you make will feel ever so sweet. Once the deal is done, shout about it. Then press on to make the next one and you are well on your way to success. In a snapshot, what will be covered in the training program? We will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on all the skills and knowledge required to run a successful recruitment business, from sourcing jobs to finding suitable candidates and of course getting paid. Your business program will include extensive consultancy support for your business. Outlined here are just some of the key topics that will be covered in your training. Your business program will also include extensive training in doing the job as a recruitment consultant how to establish your recruitment business from scratch, how to source candidates and build a network of clients and candidates, how to conduct business with employers and their hiring authorities, how to find and interview qualified candidates for job opportunities, how to find contract recruiting assignments, how to perform internet recruiting and use the internet to maximize your profits, 
what fees to charge for your service and how to present them properly to potential clients, how to get vacancies from employers and take accurate job specification, what exactly to say to employers and candidates to help manage every step of the recruitment and hiring process, how to coordinate job interviews by telephone and prepare candidates for their interviews, how to participate in salary negotiation and counter-offer employment situations and much, much more. Will you be available to answer my questions? Well, yes, you will have unprecedented level of direct access to me and my team. This can be via the telephone, Skype or email. I will personally be on hand to answer your questions and help you implement and profit fully from your training program. Normally you wouldn't rationally expect someone with 30 years recruitment industry experience previously working at director level for some of the UK's top recruitment agencies to offer to work with you on a one-to-one -one basis to share with you the secrets of how recruitment agencies make their money and provide you with all the tools and guidance plus coaching so that you can have your share of this £31 billion industry. Well, that is what you have here before you, but only if you choose to get started today. Is it best to start my recruitment agency working from home? Yes, many, in fact nearly all our startups, begin their business life at home operating from the back bedroom or garage. Alternatively, you can choose a local, low-cost business centre or serviced offices. But try not to go through an office broker, as you can get a far better deal by going direct to these companies. Different options suit different individuals. Working from home is a good option, as all your business needs to get started is a small makeshift office space in a quiet corner of your house. Well, I need to be a previous high fly in sales to be successful. As we provide all the training you will need along with a comprehensive business program, no previous sales experience whatsoever is required. If you have knowledge of any specific industry and like talking to people, then starting your own recruitment agency will definitely be for you. I already have a recruitment business and will not require all your products and services. In many respects, our startup training program has all the benefits of a franchise in the sense that we have a tried and tested business model that has a strong and successful track record. The main difference is it is your name that is above the door, so to speak. You own the business outright and you do not have to pay our company a slice of your profits. By offering a bespoke service does not allow us to implement in your business a tried and tested business model and therefore we are not willing to provide a pick and mix package. Should I aim to specialise in a niche market? I recommend to select a specific industry, preferably one where you have some knowledge and understanding of. By choosing a certain area of industry to focus on gives you the opportunity to build a database of potential employers and employees, yet still remain small enough to be personable. For example, let's say that you are working in the care industry. Obviously you know about care work. You know what carers actually do. You know what types of organisation hire carers and I would bet that you know some other carers who are perhaps looking for a new job. So why wouldn't you start there? Don't try and reinvent yourself. If you decide to recruit in an industry you aren't familiar with, you're going to have to learn that industry and recruiting at the same time. That would be difficult. Once you learn how recruiting works, then you can expand into other niche markets. Well, I need to have a business plan. A business plan precisely defines your business, identifies your goals and serves as a roadmap for your success. The basic components include a summary of your idea, your marketing plans, financial projections, balance sheet, income statement and a cash flow forecast analysis. Because it provides specific and organised information about your recruitment agency and how you will repay any borrowed money, a good business plan is a crucial part of any loan package. Individuals making an initial investment will receive a recruitment business plan designed to help you raise funds for your agency. Do I have to form a company to start my recruitment agency? No, you don't have to form a company to start your recruitment agency. There are three basic business structures here in the UK. Sole trader, partnership and company. Most businesses start as a sole trader, then progress to partnership or company status at a later date.
How hard is it to get customers? You have a head start over most new businesses, as we'll reveal to you how you can gain access to hundreds of jobs for your agency. We'll also show you how to access clients specific to your industry and location. You'll be trained in all of the techniques associated with the recruitment process and we'll have a comprehensive business program along with personal help to ensure your success. You'll also be provided with sales letters and marketing material which will get people's attention. The hardest part about any business is winning a client. We recognise this and know that our business model will give you all the tools necessary to do so. The competition is good but it is very beatable. What is the difference between a recruitment agency and a recruitment business? Recruitment agencies find job for work seekers who are employed and paid by employers. This is often called permanent employment because once the worker has been taken on, they're an employee of the company they're working for. However, different rules apply to entertainment and modelling. Recruitment businesses engages a work seeker under a contract who then works under the supervision of someone else. This is normally called temporary agency work or temping. Workers under these arrangements are paid by the business instead of the company they are supplied to. What about record keeping? You must start to keep proper business records from day one. The importance of this cannot be overstated. It is easy for the startup entrepreneur to ignore or postpone record keeping, but this can come back to bite you if the tax authorities decide to investigate the business. A good solution is to set up a dedicated business bank account so that all the business expenses are controlled and recorded separately. We will provide you with a bookkeeping software program that will help to keep your finances in check. Can a home based business employ people? Here in the UK absolutely. The same employment rules applies with a home based business and interestingly because of such regulations, some home-based businesses are outsourcing and subcontracting home workers rather than to move into an office and take them on as staff. What if I get something wrong? I'm afraid there's no what ifs. I can tell you for certain you will make mistakes. No one's perfect or has the font of all knowledge. That's why they put rubbers or er erasers on the end of pencils. That being said, we have this step-by-step -step business model in place to make sure any errors are kept to the very minimum. Your question reminds me of something I read recently about a very successful entrepreneur who was interviewed by a reporter. The interview went as follows. Sir, what is the secret of your success? Two words. And sir, what are they? Good decisions. And how do you make good decisions? One word. And sir, what is that? Experience. And how do you get experience? Two words. And sir, what are they? Bad decisions. I think this little anecdote makes the point quite well. What makes starting a recruitment agency so unique? In many respects, running a home-based recruitment agency has one of the most lowest barrier of entry to the highest level of income. In addition to this, the opportunities within the recruitment industry are unlimited. For example, you will never run out of an inventory of candidates looking for jobs or even wanting to move to a better job. You can select any niche market or area of specialisation, giving you the flexibility to work within an industry that you have knowledge of or to choose a specific market that you have a personal interest or desire to work in. You'll never run out of prospects to develop into clients. The service that you provide is greatly needed as when a client advertises a vacancy, they are inundated with candidates that takes an age to sift through and it is extremely labour intensive and not very cost effective at that. This is an extremely rewarding business. Where else can you change people's lives for the better on a regular basis? If you are unemployed or have ever been unemployed, it's a dark and lonely place to be. So when you help someone to find a job, you bring a ray of sunshine into their lives, which is extremely satisfying. And finally, when you have your own recruitment agency, you have lifelong income and job security and never have to worry about working for a company that is in the process of cutting back, downsizing, laying off, restructuring, re-engineering, streamlining, rebalancing and the new buzzword right-sizing, whatever that means. Once upon a time, layoffs were the oddity. Today, sadly, they are the norm, but not if you have your own business. Can I book to attend another workshop? 
Although our workshops are free of charge, they are not free of cost, and the workshops are more times than not oversubscribed, so it's not possible to rebook to attend another workshop. In addition to this, as previously mentioned, shortly I will no longer be offering the one-to-one -one hands on training, as the recruitment startup program will only be available online. At the end of the workshop, you will be provided with a DVD that will cover most of the salient points highlighted in the workshop. Just before I sign off, I'd like to leave you with one last piece of advice. You may not be 100% sure of what you're looking for quite yet, but chances are you're probably dissatisfied with where you are today. Like most people, you probably want more control of your future, more time with your family, or to pursue other personal interests or goals. It's a well-known fact that the richest people in the world look for and build businesses. Everyone else looks for work. Where do you see yourself in the next 5, 10, 15 years time? Looking for work or leading a successful recruitment business? This is truly a once in a lifetime business opportunity. As the saying goes, if not now, when? If not you, who? Hopefully you'll join me today so that I can help you towards achieving real financial freedom.